Hello guys, here is Jem from Get to Know Politics and we are going to talk about the voting system of the United States of America. In particular, we are going to talk about the biggest, most important part, the Electoral College. We are going to talk about the basics, how does the US president get elected, what does he have to do to get elected, safe and swing states. Let's start with the basics. You have to be at least 18 years old and a US citizen to be able to vote. Now let's talk about how does the US president get elected. He needs to win votes of electors. There is 538 electors in total. Out of that, 435 representatives, 100 senators and 3 electors from the District of Columbia. Each state has a certain number of electors depending on their population. As an example, California has 55 votes, the most out of the whole USA. In second place is Texas with 38. Okay, now let's talk about what does a candidate have to do to get elected. He has to gather over 270 votes, that's over 50% of all electoral votes. In some cases, some candidates gather 50% of all ballots, but fail to gather 270 electoral votes. As an example, we take the battle between George Bush and Al Gore in the year 2000, where Al Gore was the favorite with 50.3% of all overall popular votes, but with 266 electoral votes. On the other hand, George Bush had 271 electoral votes, but just 49.7% of all popular votes. Now let's talk about safe and swing states. Safe states can be Republican or Democratic. Republican or red states are states like Texas, Oklahoma and Kansas. Democratic states or blue states are the states of Oregon, Maryland and Michigan. Both parties can count on those states to vote for them and hence the name safe states. Now let's talk about what in particular are swing states. Swing states are states that change parties. Ohio and Florida as an example in the past four election cycles have given votes for two different parties, two times Democratic and two times Republican, hence the name Swing State. Now think about it. Do you live in a safe state or a swing state? Is your state Democratic or is the state Republican? Is the population of your state growing or shrinking? Answer all those questions and next time you watch the elections on national TV, remember the magical number 270 and start counting and very soon you will know who your next president will be thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed our video please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye